we've been monitoring the radio. This human with us says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... Uh... uh the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. a cute one. Don't be married, don't be gay. Don't be married, don't be gay. Agent Arbogast of Majestic is my name, and Furon Hunting is my game. And the odd political assassination, but I don't like to talk about that. Maybe I'd better go back to the two martini lunch. Why is he planning to circle the town first? That's crazy. Why is he planning to circle the town first? That's crazy! I just don't get this... Scanning? Oh, look! Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe! Janet better not give me any lip when I get home. I'm in no mood. Oh my god, is my fly down? Don't look, don't look. You're a hard out, Hepburn. I can have breakfast at a jewelry store with my man any day of the week. Hmm. Passengers and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten the Soylent Green leather interior. This Pricey option. Someone's listening to my every thought. I just can't shake it. What would Marilyn do in a situation like this, other than take a lot of bennies? Flying saucers! What oh, their the electronics are masking all human neuroelectrical signals! Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. I have a rifle. Her name is Sue. Armquist is my hero.
to those monkeys. That was pretty smooth. Crypto! The wither creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. And so you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits. Roger that, big kahuna. Excellent! You're learning. Of course, I wouldn't expect the humans to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. Crypto, the dudes in dark have found your saucer. I think they're planning to destroy it this time. I'm no expert in human explosives, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power cells that could vaporize the entire city. Hurry, they're going to destroy your saucer. Ooh, and they know that God for another beast. Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us. Now that the president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the capital! Run, you did it now, boy. Oh. Oh. Damn. Anybody. Space invaders! The Space Body snatchers! My hair bite the bullet, freak! Space. I could take that guy, and that guy, and her. You little freak! Hairless hamsters hey, from space. space. Rat. You're there oh. coming. My <laughs> you little freak. Martian. Ah. 
shows they've had a liquid lunch. Don't hesitate! Chase them out! You Stop. have a right to get your arse. Your space invade. My boots. You drop it. Maybe I'd better go back to the two martini lunch. My space invaders! This isn't a democracy unless I say so! They're swarming in from everywhere! Let none pass you! Eliminate them!
reports the voting was inconclusive. The leaderless humans will have no choice but to surrender to us now! So, what would you like to upgrade, you little ball of unbridled aggression? Humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how! So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles? Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist in time. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot! Otherwise, they'll disrupt your saucer! Electric defenses!
evening. They hid the other coils' consoles in bunkers. You'll have to use your saucer to destroy it. Tesla coils! Destroy these primitive human defenses, Crypto. Too bad these Tesla coils are only cheap imitations. Your saucer should be able to hold out against them. Perhaps. No? How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet! Our victory is complete! No more blowing stuff up? What? Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased! Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to gloat too much when you accept his surrender. Be sure. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your- Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up too. 
Well, so much for plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all Furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez! Dirty tricks mode! Aw, oh, man! Now I'm gonna get my suit dirty.
the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the- Attention, Furans. Attention, Furons! Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful Robo-Prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no I'm not hung up on the whole Pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting. Thank <laughs> you. 
me. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's one human zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The Twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise. I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt.
like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself.